How are you doing everybody? This is Vince Calvillo. We're with uh, KHS Bicycles and uh, we're here at Interbike and uh, just uh, want to go over a few bikes with uh, the guys from Mountain Bike Riders and uh, we're here to uh, talk about a couple of new bikes that we have. Uh, we've added a, a line, a fitness line and uh, they're the uh, vitamin A, B and C bikes. Right now what we have on display is uh, the vitamin A and vitamin B bike. Um, they're uh, it's a new line, so you know I'm going to really be brief. They're just um, something that we're we feel that the, there's a market out there for them, so we're going to uh, try to hit it. The bikes can range anywhere from a low of uh, 400 to a high of 700 dollars. Uh, speeds anywhere from 21 speeds to 27 speeds. Um, you know, as you move up the ladder, the bikes will uh, move up in part spec. You can get a carbon fork on the vitamin B bike. Um, then you have your entry level vitamin A bike, um, but uh, again, as I was saying, they're 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 new for us, so uh, I I really can't get too detailed on them because I don't have uh, a lot to, to give you at the moment. But uh, be on the lookout for them; they'll be uh, at your local dealers soon, and uh, hopefully, uh, the gang from Mountain Bike Riders will be testing them. Here we are again. Uh, we're still in the KHS booth looking at our uh, new addition to our 20 li 29 liner. Um, we call this the Prescott. This is going to be our uh, top end bike. Um, basically, it's tried and true uh, four bar rear linkage. Um, I believe you got the RockShox uh, Reba on the front. Um, it's carbon bar. Uh, it's got a, a little mix spec on it. We've got our house brand Q2 seat post, uh, Dior cranks. Um, XTR rear derailleur, disc brakes on it, um, rock shock rear shock on it. This is again, uh, it's new. It kind of replicates our flagstaff that we've had in the line, um, but we've taken it one step higher. So uh, for all you 29er fans out there, you might want to check this out. We did do uh, 1.5 to inch and an eighth head tube on them, uh, integrated headset. So uh, this is uh, something that we believe is going to go over really well for us because again it's just uh, one step higher than the Flagstaff so uh, if you've if you've looked at the Flagstaff be sure to check this one out alright here we are again uh, still kind of cruising the KHS booth checking out what we have uh, here in the line and we're looking at the new Lucky 7 um, basically uh, we've kind of revamped this as well new frame design uh, 7 inches of rear travel Fox rear shock on it um, you know, this is something that we've been working on, and uh, we had this we had this baby out at Dirt Demo Day, and, and got a lot, a lot of feedback from it. People are really stoked about it. So, um, you know, this this one's gonna stay in the line. I think it's gonna be around for a while. Like I said, we uh, just kind of re redid it, um, new colors, new graphics. But um, right now, uh, basically looking at uh, Husafelt cranks on it. It's a nine-speed bike. Uh, it's got a little bit of mixed components as always. We've got Avid disc brakes, um, SRAM X7 rear derailleur, WT, WTB tires, speed disc wheels, um, 12 millimeter through axle on it. Um, so, you know, for you, all you guys that are uh, looking and liking the Lucky 7, be sure to check it out. Uh, we had a lot of great, a lot of great comments about it at Dirt Demo Day. Moving on over. Uh, keep the ball rolling here. We're going to just kind of briefly go over the Velvet. It's the little brother to the Lucky 7. Um, kind of encompasses a, a lot of the same features as the Lucky 7, just uh, at a little bit lesser of a price point. It, uh, we did kind of revamp this one as well. It's got a triple chain ring in the front, so it's a little bit more all mountain-ish. Uh, rock shock, uh, front fork, um, disc brakes. Um, what are we running? We're running rock shock, rear shock on it. Same. Uh, Configuration with a head tube in 1.5 to inch and an eighth, Truvative seat, post, WTB seat. Um, just an, a good all around bike is our target for this guy. Uh, we, we, again, we mixed it up a little bit and uh, we've, uh, we're hoping for some good success. It's, uh, it's been in the line and we've had positive feedback, so it's here, it's here again. We're finally winding down here with the KHS booth with the guys. Um, we're looking at the new uh, Yuma. This is going to be new for us. We brought this bike in because uh, we've had uh, we've had growing success with our 29ers, and uh, we just felt we had to keep growing it. So, kind of briefly, we're looking at the again the new Yuma. It's a full aluminum frame. 
Uh, it's running the RockShox uh, Reba front fork on it. Um, you know, we, we, we mix up the parts um, just due to keep the price point where we like to keep the bikes at, but here we've got um, X9 rear derailleur, Truvative seat post, uh, WTB saddle, um, Kenda tires. Um, it's a 30 speed bike, so, you know, again, this is uh, something new for us, but uh, we're, we're really thinking that the 29er uh, category out there in the market is, is blowing up. More and more people are uh, expressing interest in the 29ers, so uh, we've added this, and uh, we really think that this thing is going to do uh, a number for us out there. Getting a lot of good feedback here at the show from it, so for all you 29er fans, make sure you check this one out as well.